guys, I'm Kelly and you are on my channel. So today, as you can see, my face is not that made up because I'm gonna try the Korean makeup that I just recently bought from Korea. Yes, that's right. First thing first, I bought the Pony Effect Everlasting Cushion Foundation in Nude Beige. I'm gonna try this out. You know, you know what, I think I should tie my hair because you wouldn't want it to get in the way. By the way guys, I'm having like a really bad flu so pardon my sneezing and stuff. It's gonna happen a lot. So anyway, one good thing about Pony Effect is that they give you like the refill. So when you buy one, you're pretty much buying two. So that's great. I don't know about the ones in Singapore, but I know the ones in Korea, they do give you like um, the refill for free. So right now I already have some there. So let's see. Ooh. Can you guys see? Oh, it's so white. Please pardon my makeup skills because I pretty much have none. Ooh. Oh my god, it's so dewy. Look at this on my face. It's so dewy, right? Can you see? Ah, so dewy. Coverage wise, I think um, it's not too bad. It's not like super good as in like it covers like a lot. But I guess this is where the, the concealer comes in, right? But it smells really good. For this, right, you don't really need to press like too hard. Just dab like that and then there's something on top. Look at this. It's super clean. It's really moisturizing as well, so I love it. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Concealer. I bought like um, two concealers from Korea. One of them is also the Pony Effect Cover Up Pro Concealer. Well, for this one, right, it's, it comes in like um, it's more cream based kind of a concealer. This is like that. Okay, I'm gonna put this one on this eye uh, and then I'm gonna try the other one on the other eye. Well, usually for cream based stuff, um, I try to avoid it because it tends to get really clammy. But for this one, it's actually really moisturizing. And the coverage is actually quite good. Like in a sense that it actually do cover my uh, eye bags uh, without being too heavy. Because some of them, it gets really heavy and it looks really thick and unnatural. Uh, but this one is not. It actually gives quite good coverage. But at the same time, it's really moisturizing and there's no like fine lines or whatever. So, wow, this is really good. Anyway, um, I think they come in like different colors so you can choose. For me, I'm fair but not like super fair. So, I'm using like the Hopu Buff. Yeah, I'm using Buff. I don't know if that's the thing. But okay, moving on. So I got another one, it's called Q Cover uh, Pro Artist Liquid Concealer from Cleo. So this is liquid, so let's try. I'm gonna put it on this eye. So this one has a slightly better coverage in the sense that it's thicker. Also very very moisturizing. Mm, it doesn't smell like super good, it smells a bit like pain but it's still not bad. But it's actually really smooth. The application is good. Oh, I like it. I like this one. This is good. The coverage is really, really good. Very natural. It gives it a very soft finish, as you guys can see. If I have to choose between these two, I really don't know which one to choose. Maybe for like a more... Because this one, the coverage is slightly better, but as you can see, it's slightly whiter. So maybe for this one, it's for more like, like maybe thicker makeup, and this one is for like natural uh, days or something. Okay, moving on. I don't know about you guys, but I like to cover like uh, my face with transparent powder because uh, my makeup tends to run a lot. So um, I got this cute cover also from Cleo, a transparent powder. I used a little bit already because it cracked a little bit, so sorry. This is good because, so what I do, I usually just tap it over like my uh, eyelids, uh, under eye, around my nose area because you know when you wear sunglasses, you wouldn't want your makeup to run that much. Transparent powder is good because it doesn't give you like extra coverage. It just kind of it just gives you like a very like very 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 natural finish. Okay moving on to my eyes. So I bought this um called Eyes Talk Shiny 
brownish um, Dia My Animal Eyes Top BE102. Uh, it's a shiny eyeshadow uh, from Korea. So I'm going to use it for a very natural look. Okay, so um, for people that don't know me, I actually avoid pink eyeshadow recently because I used to do that a lot and then people could sell a Naruto like some form of Naruto but besides that like I try to avoid it too because like I'm trying to go for like a more natural look you know so okay yeah let's let's do this wow it's super shiny oh wow it is super shiny can you guys see oh you guys can't see it it's nice because the color is like not super obvious but at the same time it really gives you the the whole sparkly look in your eyes and then um I'm gonna use this thing called the mono eyes I forgot this is from where. So I I got the mono eyes as you guys can see. So I'm just gonna put it like uh, at the end of my eyes, like here. It's also brownish. Uh, it's not super shiny, but it's still quite glittery around this area. So give your eyes like slightly more depth to it, I guess. Oh, I love it. Can you guys see? Ah, you guys can see that the colors is quite obvious. So I got this called um, Sharp So Simple uh, Waterproof Pencil Liner also from Cleo. So what I do usually, I will put at my... I don't really like like too thick eyeliner kind of look so I'll put like at my water line. So I'll show you. You know like drawing eyeliner the face is just very stupid looking but okay. done with my eyes okay I'm not gonna put mascara today I didn't buy any mascara from Korea okay, so sometimes I like to add this so this is also from Etude House it's this like shiny pen thing so what I do is sometimes I'll just like trace the inside of my eyes like this you know, to give you like a whole like more make your eyes look more stuffy I guess so ta-da I'm done with my eyes I'm not doing any makeup tutorial today, okay? I'm just trying out all the Korean makeup that I bought moving on. Okay, right now I'm gonna go contour my face. So I'm using Etude House V-Line Slim Makeup. So one good thing about this is that it has two colors. So one brown and one like highlighter thing. Usually, I don't use the highlighter thing because I have another thing for that. But what I do is I usually just contour the side of my face so you look like you have a smaller face. You guys see the difference? Mm. See? This side looks a lot smaller. Whoa, see a lot of difference. Mm -hmm. See? A lot of difference, right? <laughs> Done! So that is it for contouring. Next is blusher! I'm using Skin Food, my short cake blusher. I don't know if Skin Food is from Korea though. I didn't buy this from Korea, but that's just, I only have one blusher, so. So how I usually put my blusher is I'll smile like. So, and I know you're not supposed to smile when you do that, but I guess like I like it when you smile and then like it's pinky and pretty. So, ta-da, done with my face. So why I say I don't use the shiny part because I use this thing called Big Color. It's called Concealer Cushion. Ah, uh, this is from Etude House. Yeah, but this is also a highlighter. So what it is is like transparent. See, there's nothing. There's nothing much. It's just shiny, shiny. So what I do is I will just like put it on my nose, put it on my chin, sometimes my brows, and then you just blend it out. There you go. Okay, so for today's lipstick, which is gonna be the last part of my testing out Korean products uh, kind of thing, it is this thing called Lip Tone Get It Tint. So this is from Tony Moly. It's really cool. It looks like nail polish. This is how it is like. It looks really orangey, but it's really quite red. It is 04 day to tan. Yeah, day to tan. So what I do is that just get. Okay, so like a lot of people they keep doing like the whole bite lip thing, right? But I realized that it doesn't work for me, so I just like fill it in like that. So this is like slightly orangey red. But I like it. It gives the lips like this really 
a naturally red kind of vibe and then one good thing that is tint so it doesn't really crack your lips actually it's quite like watery so it just like stains your lips so it's not that bad I'm done with testing out my Korean products the, the ones that I bought this is it for today's video thank you so much for watching if you have any other things that you want to see from me feel free to leave a comment down below uh, please do remember to press the like and subscribe button to see more of me all my links will be at the end of this video, so feel free to go check it out. I post videos up every Sunday, so please remember to stay tuned and stay loony. Thank you guys! Bye!